Eh, parece ser que hay que trabajar de tal manera que se pueda generar ese valor en el cliente, porque al final el cliente final es, es el objetivo. La crisis mundial que estamos viviendo imagino que también ha afectado a esa cadena de valor, ha hecho relación a ello, incluso en cómo se ha reducido de forma significativa el número de, de trabajadores en, en los procesos de, de, fabric, de, de fabricación. Eh, pero bueno, parece que estamos saliendo un poco de esa crisis. No sé si hay alguna pauta que se podría dar en ese sentido como para personalizar esas cadenas de valor y para ser diferentes y más competitivos. Yeah, I, I think the customization okay, is, uh, is one way to better fulfill human needs and reduce the waste. Okay? I don't mean we need to customize everything. I mean, there are a lot of products okay, we will be just as comfortable as good to have a, a commodity products, okay? like some uh, rice, flowers, all this commodity. You know, the, the, the energy source, I mean, there's some of the things that have to be commodity. But I, I think the important part is what we should think about how do we fo more focus to the value creations, okay? And how do we capture the value and deliver the value? And that's where we can think the, uh, uh, the crowd could get in to help out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Esa creación de ese valor añadido eh, pasaría también por la colaboración entre socios internacionales. Yeah, I think you know, at the end of the day, we want to get to where can the value best created, okay? And that should not uh, be limited to one location or one country or one uh, one continent, okay? We should uh, try to find where are the best capabilities. And uh, this kind of competition is good for all of us. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. y, y precisamente en relación a, a esta pregunta que le hacía, mm -hmm. ¿cómo podemos conseguir esto? Posiblemente sea algo más difícil. ¿Cómo podemos conseguir que se rompan todas esas barreras que quedan todavía en el comercio internacional? Sabemos que bueno, Asia es un continente difícil para las empresas europeas. Algunos de los empresarios eh, que han intentado abrir mercados pues, pues han encontrado con algunas dificultades. Principalmente la del idioma puede ser una de ellas, eh, la distancia, la cultura en, en sí. Hay que buscar esa unión. ¿Cuál es la clave para esa, esa unión? No sé si tiene usted la clave. I, I, you know, I, I don't mean we have to eliminate culture uh, elements. I think we should respect the culture. I think we should, uh, you know, try to try to put uh, even uh, put more emphasis to our culture because, you know, the the globalization does not mean we will make everyone standardized. <laughs> Okay, and then the life would not be that interesting anymore. Okay. So I, I think it would, it would be more important that uh, we, on one hand, uh, we try to uh, tap into capability. We also try to be, you know, reach out, okay, talking, uh, working with others. Okay. I, I think that, uh, I, I think that there are some, some uh, metropolitan uh, cities are more advanced than others. I think, that, you know, Uh, in, in, in some way, I've been here six years. Okay? Uh, I still have some difficulty to uh, find food, okay? <laughs> find a restaurant uh, I mean, to, to, to eat because I always arrive on Sunday. Okay? And it's very difficult to find a, a restaurant. And maybe someone can help me next time I, I can find a, a, a place to eat. Yo creo que sí. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's a both way. I, I don't think that they will say, you know, the, 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 the differences among us okay, to make us special. Okay? And I don't think we should, should make everyone the same. Then the life will not be interesting. Okay? But on the other hand, I think, that, you know, to be able to communicate, to be able to, and I think that should be also part of our education goal, okay? to, to make the life more open and to, to make the movement of idea and the goods and the service okay, easier okay, will be good for all of us. 
Un par de cuestiones eh, más. Eh, estamos hablando de Estados Unidos como gran potencia. Hablamos también de Europa por la parte que, que nos toca eh, y sobre todo además en estos momentos que, que poco a poco pues, parece que, es, que estamos despuntando. Pero yo no sé si en esta cadena de valor eh, los países subdesarrollados también podrían incorporarse. A lo mejor es un proceso un poquito más largo, pero para ellos también está esa cadena de valor, para países subdesarrollados. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think the the whole idea of the supply chain uh, has been caught on uh, quite uh, rapidly okay, in some of the developing countries. Okay, I think uh, you know, you will be surprised to, to find out that you know, uh, uh, in in some uh, er some region, some you know, the e-commerce is, is uh, has already twenty or twenty thirty percent of their. Uh, they are the, they are the commercial the transactions. Okay, uh, they move uh, faster with the mobilities and everything. And uh, I I think the, uh, the the supply chain, uh, if we do it right, I think it's it will help us be more efficient and effective and uh, preserve our environment uh, better. Yeah. I think the, you know, I, I was just, uh, referring to one of the examples we did in the uh, Zaragoza logistics centers, okay, to encourage uh, companies to uh, to have horizontal collaborations, okay. So you know, 50, 60 percent of the trucks running around on the, on the street either half empty or empty, okay. If we can eliminate that, okay, it you know it saves a lot of money and it reduces a lot of pollutions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 